Hey guys, uh, let me show you where I'm at. I'm about to do a quick fix to the van, but I um, thought I'd show you really quick where I'm sitting and doing this. I'm here at the Torrey Pines State Beach parking lot. <laughs> I'm not actually on the beach, obviously. Uh, down by Uh, lifeguard Tower 2. This video is about this. When you turn on your air, but it doesn't work until it's on 4. Then you get air. All I want is air, but I don't necessarily need the 4 setting all the time. Uh, so apparently, um, this is a super common problem with T1N sprinters. So I guess my heater AC blower resistor went out. Um, and that's what that means is when it, you can only put it on your number four setting for the blower. That's probably what's gone wrong. So I went and bought one of these from uh, Euro Parts here in San Diego. And this is what the resistor looks like. So I'm gonna throw it in the van and hopefully that'll be the $50 fix to this. Let's see. Okay, so according to other YouTube videos, this is the piece I'm gonna be replacing. So let me try to figure out how to get it out of there. Man, I should actually videoed that, but I couldn't do it through just one hand. But uh, all you have to do is squeeze this tab here and then just lift and push it back kind of up into the uh, just up higher so you can get it out of the hole and then it looks like you just pull on these or depress these tabs and wiggle it oh, let me put the camera at it yeah depress these tabs and wiggle it out of there I don't feel like I can do this with one hand so let me do it really quick okay there it is pulled out I'm going to compare it to the new piece. Okay, so here we go. We have the uh, old piece on the left, new piece on the right. It's always a good feeling when the replacement part looks like the part you just pulled out. So let's slap this piece in. Seems to be pretty straightforward. I'll just connect it just like I pulled it out. I doubt I'll be able to do this with one hand though. Okay, I can connect that. Now I'm just gonna jam this up and then set it in this hole and snap it down and I guess that's it. Try to video this last piece as I'm snapping it down. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, there's some, it's gotta fit in these slots. And let me just get it in there and I'll show it to you afterwards. Okay, so if you're gonna remove it, you should squeeze that tab back there, which is actually this right here. Just squeeze it, I guess, and then pull it back, like towards the passenger side. And then that'll uh, put these tabs to the holes and it just lifts out. So, could have been a lot easier. the Navy helicopter flyby. Yeah, so that's it. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see if I have power. Oh yeah, okay. Two. Yeah. Three and four. So it worked. Yeah, so about where I saw this uh, fix online, um, I was just randomly on the T1N Sprinter Owners Facebook uh, group and was just scrolling through things. I wasn't even looking for the this particular fix because um, I just kind of been cool with driving around with uh, the AC blowing on high all the time. Um, and then I saw someone else had the same problem and someone said what it was and I couldn't believe that. I said this was awesome so that I did a quick YouTube search and then I saw a video from Million Miles Sprinter and he had stated that um, that is indeed the fix if you 
don't have the first three speeds, but you have a higher, the fourth speed position. So uh, I contacted Europarts here in San Diego, and they said yes, they had the part in, and that it was $49.93. So um, I drove up really quick instead of just having to mail it like I normally do, and they gave me this part. And then I picked up a couple other little things, knickknacks while I was there. And uh, yeah, and that was it. Uh, came down to the beach, installed it as fast as you saw it. So big shout out to uh, the uh, Facebook Sprinter forum folks. Um, I also saw uh, the fix on uh, the Sprinter forum, um, actual, like the actual website. And then of course Million Miles Sprinter, because he's awesome. So I hope you guys liked the video, uh, hope I didn't ramble too much, and I hope you have an awesome fan day. Talk to you later, and everybody.